So good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'm sharing with you uh, my presentation of uh, Math 102 recitation labs for, for the first week. Uh, I'll go with the, the sharing first of all, and uh, I'll share with you my, my, my presentation. Okay, so this is the uh, normal uh, PowerPoint or PDF presentation uh, you should have covered or you should cover with your recitation uh, construction. So the outline for the first week presentation is that uh, um, we talk about the syllabus of the uh, the math 102 recitation and some communication items. Um, we talk about how to get started with Python. We'll do a brief introduction, and mainly we'll talk about symbols and functions, equations and blocks. And uh, we'll we'll do a couple of uh, exercises. Uh, so uh, intentionally for this week's presentation, I will not go to Jupyter Notebook and not share I mean, the uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook interface because I already cut and paste in, and uh, it's embedded uh, through the PowerPoint presentation. So for the syllabus and communication, and uh, in fact, uh, the recitation syllabus uh, that should have been posted on the Blackboard contains the main objectives and guidelines on coverage base. So uh, there will be two common multiple choice uh, questions exams, one midterm plus one final, and they uh, both count for respectively for eight and 12 points. So with a total of 20 points. Uh, the midterm is, uh, would be uh, around the week eight and it covers labs one to seven, while the final uh, around week 14 and is fully comprehensive. Now, how to get started with uh, Python? Uh, as you know, uh, Python has become the most trending language in the scientific community due its, uh, to its accessibility and efficiency. And it also has been proven to be powerful in various scientific computation in our computing areas, such as uh, data analytics, uh, artificial intelligence, and many other applications. And it would be used, it could be used to on many programming platforms. One of these platforms we use for the recitation is the Jupyter uh, Notebook. So let's get started with Jupyter Notebook. Now, uh, to get started with Jupyter Notebook on your own uh, laptop or desktop, you have to get Anaconda installed on your machine. And in uh, the recitation labs here at kp they are all already installed on every machine. And once you have installed it, you can launch uh, Jupyter Notebook using this Anaconda nav Navigator. So once it opens, you get an interface like this, looks like a, an internet browser, okay? And uh, when it launches, you will see that you have the home page here and you can upload or uh, create new new files. So uh, we'll get started now uh, with the first things we could do is to upload the proper file for this week's recitation, which is week one introduction plus areas and distances. Uh, so for our first week class, you will upload the file that has been provided by your uh, instructor, okay? And you'll see that there are many items already uh, contained there. So the first thing we have is a, a simple coverage of what we call arithmetic operations. And uh, so we'll start by performing some basic operation, uh, uh, operations, some basic arithmetic operations. And notice that you can uh, hit run to compile what we call you for the for developers because we say compile or to run or use shift and enter on your keyboard to execute the content of a set so first of all these are the symbols commonly used for the simple mathematical operations with python the plus sign the subtraction the multiplication and the division and you will see in our window here how we perform the operation uh, two times five plus four which gives five, uh, 18. And, uh, or how do we, did we perform four over two plus three? Okay. And you can execute these uh, cells within the, uh, the, the, the Python file you have. Now, we can see also how variables could be used to store values. So we'll now define variables and try to display them in different ways. And to display, we have two possible commands, uh, commands, the display or print of Python. And here the values, as you see, the variables A and B, which is first one, A is 33 times seven, and B is 11 over three, are stored in memory 
and then we'll try to display them. One way to display them is just to type A and to run, and you get the value, or B, run it. Or also, you can also try the display command, which is display AB here. With display AB, you get the first value, which is 231 for A, and the second value, which is B, 43.66. Or you can even do the print, A, B, and here they appear on the same line. Or you can just uh, add more information. Let's say we have A equals between uh, B two brackets here and A equals A, B equals B. And you have a more uh, informative message that, that is displayed. Okay. Now we'll talk about uh, exponents. So uh, for from basic act, uh, arithmetic operations, we have also the double star symbol, which is used usually used for 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 exponents powers. And notice here that if you want to use the square command, uh, it's not going to work because uh, you need to to import uh, some package to be able to use this function. So if I have here, for instance, for the exponent two double star three, it is two to the power three, which is eight. Or if you want to display two double star zero five, which is the square root of two, it's one forty one four. And but if you type square root of two here, the function has not yet been imported, has not been defined, and you'll get an error message. Now, uh, to to uh, to be able to use these basic functions, we need to import the mathematic libraries required. And for example, also seen here for the sine function is not recognized when I try to type in sine of five, and it's not recognized yet. So how to import libraries? There are two main and very important libraries we use here within this course. Uh, the first one is SymPy for symbolic calculations, S-Y-M-P-Y for SymPy, and NumPy for numerical calculations. And we use the command pair, which is import as, to call any needed library. Like for instance here, we will import SymPy as SMP. So SMPI is going to be called SMP whenever we want to refer to a function which belongs to this library, we will we'll, we'll type in SMP. And whenever we will uh, want to we we'll want to call a function that belongs to NumPy, we'll type in MP. Okay. So here what does these two what do these commands do? They import the libraries SymPy and NumPy. SMP and MP, okay? Depending on our needs, we can call one or the, the other. So for instance here, mm -hmm. whenever we need a function, we will call it according to the name we read it. And so now notice here that the difference, there is a difference between uh, the, uh, the square root or log functions or from SymPy and NumPy. Differences in, in, in which way? So for instance, if I want to display SMP square root of five, it is more symbolic. So you see the symbol root of five appears. And if you want to display NP square root of five from NumPy, it's more numeric. See, it's 2.23. So, so we could notice that when we asked for root of five through SymPy, it returned what is symbolic input, output. While when we uh, called for the numerical value from NumPy, we had the numerical value. Same thing for the log function which is the, uh, the, the natural logarithm. Here, smp.log of four, it is symbolic, while np log of four, it is more numeric. Um, now we'll move on forward. We'll talk about what we can define as variables and functions. So uh, some of the calculations need to, to, especially in calculus, some of the computations, especially in calculus, need to define variables and functions to be able to move forward. So to define a variable in uh, X in Python, we need to call what we call the command symbol. So here, X is defined as a, a SymPy symbol, referred to X as X. And to define a function, we need to call the command SMP function. You see, notice here S and F in the command symbol or function are both capital letters, okay? So F now is defined as an SMP function, a symbolic function of X. So 
to evaluate uh, at a given value of x, we use the, the command subs. So the subs function, the subs uh, command here will allow us to display different values of f at different values of x. So for instance, if I see uh, here in my cell that x is defined as a symbol, f as a function of x, and now f takes x squared, so x double star two plus two x plus one, so x squared plus two x plus one. And I wanna give q the value that be returned by f when you substitute x with three. So it's gonna be in fact f of three. So first of all, here in my cell, I said, let us display f and then display q. So of course, f as a function is x squared plus two x plus one. And now what is the value of q? It's f of three. So it's gonna be three squared, nine, plus two times three, nine plus six. 15 plus one, 16, works well, okay? So this subs command allow us to get values of function at different values. Now, we'll try to move on and use equations and plots. So first of all, to solve an equation that says, for example, I want f of x to be equal to zero and five. What we need to call is the command SMP solve. Now, solve f, it means by default, I want the values of x such that f of x equal to zero. If I want a different value, we'll see how we can do that. So to plot the graph of a function also, we need to call the command smp.plot of f. So when we plot f here in the cell, you see the graph of f of x. So, so uh, that's the, the last thing we're gonna see today. Uh, for next week, we're gonna start again with uh, the solution of uh, this following exercise where we wanna write a Python code to print the function f of x equals three x minus five. X is a real number. And the find, to find the value of f at x equals 1.3. And uh, you return it in a parameter called q and then print it. And wanna uh, plot the function. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. We'll try to continue this exercise as long as possible and to, to allow the student who may, might miss uh, um, a lecture to, to, to be able to, to, uh, to work well and to, uh, to be well prepared. Thank you very much and goodbye.